Hey guys, it's me. Today I'm gonna do my everyday face in 15 minutes. So I'm gonna start out, wait, I almost forgot my SPF. I'm gonna start out with SPF. This is the Beauty Blender Selfie Shield. This is like a dropper. So do a few drops and it's a dry oil. I really can't forget this. Whew, I really need SPF. I feel like I'm aging so quickly and even though I've never been the kind of person to put my face in the sun, I still have to protect it. So then I'm gonna use a mattifying base. This one I've had for a while, it's the Makeup Forever one. It's called Step One Equalizer. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> it's like a little noodle. Okay, I'll put that in my T-zone. Oh, that's peeling. Foundation I'm going for today is this one by Laura Mercier. It's called the Flawless Lumiere and it's in the shade Dune. I'm gonna apply it with a beauty blender because I had a bit of peeling when I layered, or peeling when I layered the primers. So yeah, I'm just gonna use a beauty blender because then I can pounce it rather than swipe, which might cause peeling. Peeling is when the product bowls up a little bit on your skin as you rub. It's usually not the end of the world, but it can happen sometimes, but I'm glad that I put SPF on, you know, I'm not mad. So my meeting today is with a skincare brand, so I want my skin to look really gorgeous that's why i picked a radiant foundation da 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 that looks nice i'm just going to quickly conceal this is the airbrush concealer from benefit that looks gray on me okay that concealer is too light for me right now brb okay i'm going to head back to one of my old school faves nc30 oh my god you can't even tell I think it's NC30. Even though that's actually a little bit light as well. Recently I got matched to be NC37, but I haven't gone to get, you know, the concealer of that. I don't know if they have the concealer. I have the foundation. Cool beans. Now eyebrows, this one's nice and quick. It's the Shiseido Eyebrow Styling Duo. It has a little thing at the end with like powder on it, which I think is cool. And then a skinny end as well. So you can kind of just Quickly fill in the head of the brow like that with the powder and then if you have the time You can flip it. Oh, but there's no spoolie. Oh wait, is there a spoolie? Nope, no spoolie. That's one bad thing about it But you know, I have a bazillion so it's not a problem around here Ta-da! And then you can use the little sharper end to do the tail So it's good like that, see? You know, I actually have had this pencil for a while, so hopefully they still have it. If they don't, I should be fired because that's my job. I've also started using this Tinted Brow Enhancing Gel Fix by Lash Food. It's like a product that sets your brows, but it also helps them grow. So if you're growing them out, it's great. It has little fibers in it as well. Yeah, it says healthier, fuller, restored looking brows. Let me show you up close because the little applicator is really fancy. See? And it's absolutely jam packed with fibers. So it makes them look really, really full. So if you've got sparse eyebrows or you're wanting to grow them out, definitely try this. Well, I first bought the brand on Netaporter. So they might have this product on Netaporter. They definitely have the eyelash serum on Netaporter because that's where I bought it. These Dior palettes are really good for every day because it has a primer in there. Oh, mine's got a bit of makeup. So you can just apply that like right over your lid before you go and put your eyeshadows on. That way you know it's gonna last all day. You can just use your fingy. Well, that was weird, fingy. Finger. And then I prefer more neutral shades, so I'll take this top corner one. Blend that out. So I just put it in the outer crease kind of area. And then if you can get your hands on one of these Sigma E45s, they're really good because they have that little tapered part so you can focus it more. So I'm going to go for this darker matte. Then a clean blending brush, quickly blend it out. Then you can put your matte shade just up under the brow bone. And I use the same brush because I'm lazy and obviously we're getting ready for work so we don't want to be messing up heaps of brushes. If you want some shimmer, go for it. 
I'm lazy again, so I'll just use my finger. Okay, listen to me right now. Do not attempt a winged eyeliner for every day, okay? Because winged eyeliner, it can take me so long, even after all these years and, you know, feeling like I'm pretty good at winged eyeliner. So definitely just use a pencil. This is Espresso from MAC. And even pencil eyeliners are kind of hard sometimes, so I'll just put it on the outside edge. Take a little dense brush and then just soften it out. If you blend it out, then it doesn't matter if you made mistakes. Normally I'll go ahead and reapply close to the lash line so that you've got it intense right on the lashes and then it blends out where you blended it with the brush. By coming from underneath, you can get it right in amongst the lashes. I'm gonna use my lash primer. I'm trying to use this every day so that even while I've got my makeup on, my lashes are growing. Not that they aren't, but this is supposed to help. So it's the Conditioning Collagen Lash Primer. And then for mascara, I'm gonna use my Laura Mercier one. Oh, oh, got it on me. I'm just scratching it away. If you get it on yourself, not a big deal, it scratches away. For concealer under my eyes, I'm gonna use the Ultimate Coverage Longwear Concealer from Becca. This one's in the shade Sesame. If you prefer to use a brightening concealer, like one that's lighter than your skin tone, you can. But for every day, I just like to match it and then I use a more intensely contrasting one, like for nighttime. And, or if I'm feeling like I wanna be a little bit more sculpted, but yeah. For blush, I'll take my Portofino Multiple from NARS. I just got this color, but I love the NARS Multiples. If you had asked me like a couple of years ago which step I thought was not necessary for me, I would have said blush, but now I love blush. Even if I've applied powder blush, I like to go over it with my beauty blender just to make sure it's all nice and seamless and look at how glowy that is. Okay, okay. Now blush, uh, well we just did that Chloe. Cream bronzer to match, this one's the milk one, I love it. Just a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna set. This is the illuminating setting powder from Cover FX. Favorite thing about it, aside from how good it is, is that it has this little cap to this. So it doesn't like get all over the lid and then when you open it, get everywhere. It's the little things, you know? I'm just gonna use this little brush. It's the small contour FO5. No, that's too small. Why do I do this to myself? I'm meant to be trying to save time. So obviously you should use a big brush. I don't know why I do this to myself. So radiant. Yay. Then close the cap. No mess. Hmm? Wish I could say the same about my makeup desk right now, but no, it's hella messy. So then you just need something for your lips. This little lip crayon is so cute. It's like purse size, so it's good to take to work and it's so easy to apply. It's called Tay Tay. It's so cute, it's so easy to apply. It's by Nude Sticks, it's the perfect nude. So nice and creamy. So I love that, you can also use it on your cheeks as well, but I'm just gonna use it on my lips. So that is my 15 minute face. Work face, looks nice, right? Hope you guys enjoy, let me know what you think in the comments and I'll see you guys really soon, bye.